Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the very basics of Adobe Flash's layout, kind of an introduction to the program itself. Um, one thing to know about Flash used to be under Macromedia until Adobe bought them out and incorporated it into Adobe's popular and powerful Creative Suite 3, which brings a lot of elements into it. Um, it's Adobe Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, Dreamweaver, Flash. There are other um, internet website tools from Adobe as well that, that will incorporate that will work really well between the two or between the programs which we'll find later on works out really well when you're transferring things back and forth. Um, let's go ahead and open up the program take a look. You'll find that this very opening window gives you some options to create some things. Um, they have some templates for different uh, um, devices, action scripts and some recent items and stuff like that. Um, we're going to open up a flash file, Action Script 2.0. Um, it doesn't really at this point, actually, you can either at any point, we're just going to look at the general layout. Action Script really doesn't matter until we start getting into the Action Script coding, which is something we're not going to even touch today. So, here we have the basic um, flash layout. We'll kind of start from the top and go down. Up at the top, we have our main tool, uh, menu bars very similar to other programs with opening and closing and you can see you know, editing and copying and pasting and you have different options. There's multiple, multiple ways to do it. anything in any Adobe's programs. You can, you know, a lot of the menus that you find here, the options that you find here, you'll find tools for down there. And so it's really just however you learn, however you discover things and, you know, however you prefer it. But we have our main windows and we can, the more windows we can open up here. Um, the next most important thing is probably our timeline that's up here, right underneath the, uh, the main menu. Flash works with time, a lot like a video editing program. You, you actually have your timeline with frames and keyframes. Frames are merely sequences where something is drawn on it. Keyframes are when, where important or when things ch start to change. And at this, um, on our timeline, we can create new layers, different layers, and have different things going on at the same time, but the, the screen will still play. For example, let's copy and paste some frames down there. We have now 20 frames in our sequence. We can go back and forth, just kind of like a video player. We can show you a little bit of how to do that next. The most important, another most important thing on to our left is our main toolbar, our tool menus. There are different tools, our, our selecting tool, our standard tool. This white arrow um, will select segments of shapes. If you want to manipulate different shapes, you can grab corners with squares and those kind of things. Free transform tool, pretty standard. If you you can change the the shape or the um, or you can change the size or the direction of an object. Your lasso tools for selecting pens, typing. Your standard drawing tools, your line tools, um, your, your ink bottles, and if you rest your um, your arrow over it, you can actually get a, a small description in your colors, your stroke color, and your fill color for animation. One important thing to know about um, Flash is that it's a vector-based um, drawing program, not a pixel. And if you know what that means, as pixels are the little dots that make up pictures or other objects that you, you know you draw in other places and but vector is actually created with um, mathematical formulas so if you zoom into these um, shapes that you create in flash as far as you want you'll never see a dot you'll never see a pixel that's the sign of a of a vector graphic program over here on the right we have our library and that's when you start importing elements and start creating shapes and things like that, you'll, you'll start to fill up thing, um, elements in your library. Um, there's different, all sorts of, of windows that you can turn on and off your swatches. You can, um, you have um, some of the same toolbars as um, for your scripts for when you're drawing and those kind of things. Alignments, you can get different your alignment palettes and things like that suggest that you just you know 
open up different ones and just to see how it goes. And you can play around with these as much as you want. Um, down here, also a very important aspect is, is your properties panel and you can um, parameters and those kind of things. And if you select on an object, your properties panel down here will change. It'll tell you if it's a shape or if it's a picture, or graphic, uh, a video, those kind of things. And it'll give you the attributes associated with it. You can change some of those attributes down here. Again, it'll be more important when you get into to more complicated things like movie clips and buttons and those kind of things that have a little bit more options down here. You can apply certain filters. Yeah, let's expand that so you can see it. There's some filters that we can apply. Uh, we can get into that a little bit later as well. Um, one more a pretty important window that I can uh, show you at this point. We're not going to get into it right now, but that's that. Um, to find our actions panel and when you get into doing action scripts. If you go up to window, select actions, it'll pull up in your action script. And this is where you will be writing code later. So that's just a very basic layout of Adobe Flash. Jump on in, don't be afraid, work around with it, play around with it, draw some things with it. Um, how you can change this panel or these uh, frames up here is if you right click on the frames you can convert to a keyframe that will change it and allow you to um, draw a new object. So get in there, play around with it, see what you think. Um, don't be afraid. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, for this and more information check out www.freeadobeflashtutorials.com or I'd love to hear your comments or questions at freeadobeflashtutorials at gmail.com. Thank you very much.